Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another meal prep video. So today I'm gonna to be prepping a couple of items for breakfast, a lunch meal prep, and then also a snack prep. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is going to be a meal prep breakfast taco scramble. This is a skinny taste recipe. The only thing I changed out was the type of meat. So the ingredients you're going to need is gonna be eight eggs, a half of a cup of a fat-free cheese or any kind of cheese you'd like, two tablespoons of taco seasoning, one pound of lean ground sausage, a half of a small onion, two tablespoons of minced bell pepper, and four ounces of tomato sauce, a quarter cup of water, and some salsa. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to brown up my sausage. So I'm using this Genio all natural sausage. It's only 100 calories, it's really low points. So I'm just gonna cook that in a hot skillet here until it is no longer pink. And then once the sausage is all cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add the onion, the bell pepper, the tomato sauce, which you only need four ounces. I almost put the entire can in here. A quarter cup of water, and then you're gonna give that a good stir, cover it and let it simmer for 20 minutes. So while that is simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and get the eggs ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and take eight eggs, beat them and add in some onion salt and add in the cheese. Then I'm gonna set that aside. One thing I did not mention, you also need a pound of baby potatoes. So you wanna take your potatoes, cut them in half. You wanna add in a tablespoon of oil. I'm using avocado oil. And then you wanna season them with whatever you wanna season them with. I am using just some seasoning salt for it. And then I'm gonna to toss those and go ahead and put them in my air fryer. And I'm gonna cook them at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And I will shake it halfway through, but it's gonna be depend on what kind of air fryer you have for how long you cook them for. If you don't have an air fryer, you can go ahead and put them in a 400 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes. To cook your eggs, you want to just take a non-stick skillet and you want to go ahead and add in your eggs and then scramble them up. Now, I am choosing to undercook my eggs a little bit because you will be heating this meal prep up. So I'm just undercooking them just slightly. Now I'm taking two tablespoons of salsa and I'm going to go ahead and put those in my little containers that I will add to my meal preps. So to assemble the meal prep containers, you're going to take four ounces of the cooked potatoes. And then you're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of the ground sausage mixture, and then a quarter of the eggs. And then you're gonna just add on top some green onions and then also some cilantro. And then you have your salsa and there is the finished meal prep container. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the remaining three containers. So next up, I'm going to prep some blueberry chia seed jam. I'm gonna be using this with some plain nonfat Greek yogurt. You also can use it on toast, just anything you use jam for, but I really like it with my non plain nonfat Greek yogurt. So the ingredients you're gonna need is gonna be two cups of either fresh or frozen blueberries, three tablespoons of sugar-free syrup, one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, and two tablespoons of chia seeds. So you're gonna combine all of these into a pan. So I'm putting in the frozen blueberries. I'm using this syrup, the Lancanto uh, sugar-free syrup that is sweetened with monk fruit. And I'm using three tablespoons of that, adding in the lemon juice, and then you're gonna give that a good stir. You don't add the chia seeds quite yet. You're gonna give that a good stir, bring it to a boil, and cook it until the berries start to pop. And then I'm just taking a masher here. I'm just mashing them down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add in my chia seeds. I'm gonna bring that to a boil again, give it a stir. And then I'm gonna transfer that to a mason jar where I will just let it sit for about 30 minutes or so until it starts to thicken up and cools down. And then you can store it in your refrigerator and it stores for about a week in, the, in your refrigerator. So for my lunches this week, I'm gonna be having chili lime burger bowls. So this is the same thing I had last week, only I am out of the Trader Joe's chili lime burgers. So I found a copycat recipe online. So the ingredients you're going to need are going to be one pound of ground chicken, two green onions sliced up, 
a quarter cup of red bell pepper, two tablespoons of cilantro, two teaspoons of minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and the juice of one lime. So you're really just gonna put all of these ingredients into a bowl and you're gonna mix it up really well and then you're gonna form them into four patties. I did weigh out uh, each patty so they would all be the same size. So they're roughly like 4.4 ounces with the other ingredients in there. And then for myself, because ground chicken is kind of hard to work with, it, it's very, it doesn't bound together very well. So I do like to freeze these for about 45 minutes to an hour before I cook them. And then once they sit in the freezer, they're a lot easier to handle. So now that these are frozen, I'm gonna go ahead and cook them in my air fryer. I'm gonna do it at 370 degrees, and I'm just gonna do it for about five minutes, flip them over, and then cook them for another five minutes, and I'll check and see if they are cooked through. I was really excited to find this copycat recipe, so I will be sure to let you know in my full day of eating video how these turned out because I will not be trying these until either Monday or Tuesday. So you guys will definitely be the first ones to hear whether or not this was a successful recipe. So I had literally three eggs I needed to use up from last week. So I decided to do something fun and make some deviled eggs. I haven't had deviled eggs in a long time. So I went ahead and boiled my eggs. I did it the same way I always do in the pressure cooker using the 555 method. Um, and you guys have seen this on all of my meal prep videos. So once my eggs are all boiled and have been sitting in some water, I'm going to go ahead and peel them. And then I'm going to cut them in half and take out the yolks and put them in a separate bowl. And to that bowl, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of light mayo, and I'm just gonna squirt in some Dijon mustard. I love Dijon mustard and deviled eggs. I believe that is a must. I'm gonna add in a little bit of onion salt, and then I'm just gonna mash that all together. And then I will put them into each of the halves of the eggs. And then I'm just gonna top that with a little bit of paprika. And there you go, just a really simple deviled egg recipe. And these will just be a nice little snack that I'll have throughout the week. So as usual, I will have everything linked down below, all the original recipes, any modifications I made, as well as the smart points for each of these items. And thank you so, so much for watching. I will have a playlist of all of my meal prep videos linked here on the screen, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.